he roams the earth in search of cold beer, good tunes, free bud, and the occasional afternoon left hands. Street urchins cry his name, and this is his story. These are the Thrashman Chronicles. Ready for the thrashing of the pod. Thrashman Chronicles, Volume 1, Chapter 6 underway. Johnny Thrash along with my main man, Drew Bartlett. Hello. And Double A, Ron Aaron Galloway. What's up? We're here this week to talk to you about Bruce Jenner and the hot dog of the day. Also, we're going to talk about, uh, of course, a couple of crazy ass stories that came from Canada. We got a lot more than that going on. Welcome to the Thrashman Chronicles. And thank y'all for taking time to come hang out, man. I love it. Heck yeah. Anytime. You know, you know, I was kind of excited, but now that we're actually doing it, edge of my seat, <laughs> edge of my seat. So can't wait. Yeah. That's what it's all about, man, dude. And this is the first official. This is all town square media. Absolutely. Now, you know, we all, we're, we're all employees of the company, man. We love what we do. Uh, last week, uh, striker, Eric Smith came on and did it uh, along with me. And that was the first time another employee of the company came on. And, but this week, man, it's exclusive. We got the, the digital dude. That's what Aaron does. Aaron, man, in a, in a typical week, what are some of the more, um, I, I don't know, what are the things that come up doing your job that, that, that kind of strain you or puzzle you a little bit? I mean, it, oh, man. I don't know. You know, it's, it's social it's, media. What? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's social media is always something that's puzzling. Nobody, nobody knows what's going on with that. But man, I just, just uh, manage the websites and, and try to find the best things to, to put up there for people to read and, and your multiple personalities are pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Working for all four you of these. You work for us, so you know. Yeah, working for four different radio stations, running the the, the social medias and websites for four different uh, target audiences, really. Is, is, it makes you feel like you have multiple personalities sometimes. Today, today I got to be the buzz. Uh-huh. And then the next the next minute you got to be a be the NIN and post something that soccer the, mom. that the soccer moms want to see, <laughs> you know. It's, Keep shut your tits. <laughs> it does, it does, but it's fun. I wouldn't I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. That's right, man. Mm-hmm. True here. He does he does he does a couple different things, man. He, well, first of all, he's the operations manager. So whatever happens around there, he he's behind it. You know, he's 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 the he's the cog in the wheel. He's the he's the spoke in the wheel. Whatever you want to say, making things happen. It all goes through him. But he also he, he runs two great stations here. 9299 in top 40 station also uh, Blake 1023 FM uh, it's it's all you know modern country country I, it's country I, I also, <laughs> it's country it's <laughs> Johnny, Johnny that come at me <laughs> I will have you know the one thing that I get recognized for more than anything is that I'm also the voice of DW's adult video DW's adult video <laughs> hey go give me give me give listen, me a- listen I don't know if you know this but when you buy two DVDs, the third one is free. Free, free. free. <laughs> so, you know, I got that going for me. Free, 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 free. And dude's complaining. Uh, I love it. Well, free, free, free. Yeah, it's free. It's an awesome well, I mean, that thing, just, actually. I that mean, just, I that just goes to show the times, man. They can't even give away porn on DVD. <laughs> pays for that. I know. I know. You don't have to, man. But it's all right because they also have lingeries, lingeries, That's right. lingerie, and adult novelties. Get sexy for mama, you know. <laughs> she get her get her in the mood and then go home and go open your browser. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, private browsing. <laughs> well, no one can know of this. <laughs> no, like that's gonna fucking stop private anything. private browsing. I went, into, I went into private browsing. Guess what? Nothing bad could happen at this point. Nope, Nothing <laughs> fucking bad could possibly happen. A private browsing, man. <laughs> private browsing. The funny thing is, single guy, you know, <laughs> private browsing, like, psh, what am I going to hit a different button? You know? <laughs> like, What's the point? Yeah. Like, psh, no, I'm not. Uh, oh, well, yeah, you got nothing. No, no one else, I, I, no one else is know, looking at this computer. Look, yeah. You, yeah. Unless you, does your dog know how to use your computer? No. Uh, I think you're good then. <laughs> no. No, she'd, she'd find some better friends to hang out with if that was the case. Well, I'll tell you, between the three of us, I would know nothing about it ever needing to use private browsing, but it's an interesting aspect of a browser. I've heard. I've heard the feature exists. It does. It, yes. It's just yes. Like, wow, yes. Interesting. Yes. Why would you want to do that? 
Yeah. 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 I don't want you to know. A happy marriage has no secrets, Johnny. <laughs> That's a lie. There are none. <laughs> there are none. No. Uh, uh, yeah. Man, we. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I can already tell you that goddamn much. I'll tell you. Um, you know, here, one of the. <laughs> The big story since the last episode or chapter, whatever, of the Chronicles, Bruce Jenner, which everyone knew, the worst kept secret in the world is that he was going to come out and he was, you know, he was going to be transsexual. He wanted to be a woman, obviously, I guess, you know, I don't keep up with the Kardashians. But. It, it, it's not something that just happens overnight. Yeah. No? There, you're saying there was like, there was like, yeah, yeah like, 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 like the, you saw it happening for yeah. months. Like this, <laughs> like, this is happening. Let me yeah. tell you, man, I've been out in the oil field since I was Boy, <laughs> and it was just this one day I realized. Yep, I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. The thing and is, I, which where's his where's his uh, metal? Does it still retain you know the the men's gold, or does it transition to a different one? <laughs> I, oh, uh, you know that. You know, I think it will be a source of pride. Aaron, yeah. Well, because by God, he transcended everything else. If he, obviously, if he could have beat men, he could have beat the women, right? I mean, I come on. He was the great. He, he was he was labeled the greatest athlete of all time back in the day, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. And uh, dude, you first know. Wheaties box, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, the first. Yep. I think so. I fuck. I yeah. think. Yeah. Hell, I imagine. God, that boy, I tell you what, I'm, I'm a little young for it. I mean, because my knowledge of him is yeah. You through, know, I, I mine, through the, the reality Kardashian. show. I mean, that's mine sad. too. That's I, sad, I, but it's true. The only reason I know that is because. Jennifer, my wife, was watching uh, the, the the latest special they had on TV on NBC or something about him, and they were doing a back backstory. Oh, with Diane Sawyer, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. So that's the only reason I know that. Yeah, so. Bruce, uh, dude. Well, well <laughs> a, a place up in Cincinnati. It was a hot dog place, of course, a gourmet hot dog place uh, called Senate. Have you ever been to a gourmet hot dog place? By the way, no, I I've never heard of. Gourmet Sounds hot weird. Dog place. You're not sure about it. Awesome. Oh, well, dude. It's, yeah, like, like you're like, oh, wow. It it's, makes sense. It should be man central. I mean, there yeah. should be a fucking, at least a couple of fucking half naked chicks on the wall. There should be sports playing in the corners. Yeah. I mean, if it's a hot dog, if it's a gourmet hot dog bar, they're better, you know. When I hear hot dog, there is no sexual in, innuendo it's going sports, on. man. I Whatsoever sports. with me, it's just, it's like, oh, I'm ready to fuck this. Let's eat hot dogs. I mean, what's yeah. up? I'm ready, I'm ready to throw on here. Yeah, just talking to, to your belly. Baseball. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing gay about this. There's nothing. <laughs> fucking hot dogs. What? Let's hang out. And let's right. fucking, uh, let's, let's eat some fucking dogs. Yeah. And okay. Now what's what you think about? Aside from hot dogs, what's that other cheap thing that you can fucking get and you get it uh, any, any time in, in almost any city in the United States of America anyway, that would be the taco. Yes, so, sir. Um, this brilliant place, the Senate, as I, as I was talking about earlier, they decided they were going to launch a Bruce Jenner themed menu last Friday because they figured he was about to come out. Everybody, well, they figured, hell, everybody knew yeah. it was about to come out. They're, they're trending. Yeah. Yeah. They're smart. Yeah. Hashtag, ha- has- Bruce. hashtag marketing. <laughs> Bruce. Yeah. 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 Bruce's penis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, on what's popular Brinus right now. Brinus is actually the word that was oh, that Brinus? I, I work in top 40. <laughs> That's the official hashtag. Well, you know, on, on this menu, they had Bruce Jenner 2.0, which they described as part hot dog, part taco, and pure awesomeness. And I want to be honest with you, I don't care if the dude fucking, I don't care what he does. That actually, a hot dog and a taco and one thing sounds great to me. Until they put that tag on it, but you know. Yeah. See, I am gonna have to differ with you because <laughs> when I first read this and I read what it was, at first I thought maybe that'd be cool, and then I said, you know, tacos are good, hot dogs are good, but like, I don't. When I'm eating a taco, I don't want to taste like hot dog. Well, you're the taste. kind of guy that well, has, has his food. You're the kind of guy that has to have his food separated <laughs> on his plate, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they can't touch. None oh, of it yeah. can touch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like that uh, that that KFC bowl that's just like, hey, here we took all the shit, we piled it all into a bowl. Like, sh- <laughs> that's, shovel this. That's in your, your worst face. nightmare. Shovel this in your face. Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> oh man, I I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. No, no. I did. Yeah, yeah mashed potatoes. Corn like, and mashed potatoes oh. do not touch. <laughs> oh no. no I no, could no, care no, less. No, it all. No. <laughs> Yeah. I know when I was a if kid. If I could have I those like lunch that. trays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the, the separate portion. Man, I would do every meal. Touch. Every meal. <laughs> God forbid that fucking barbecue get on those fucking cornels of corn. Oh, God, no, oh, no. God. No. This is no. some bullshit. 
No. Yeah, what are you people doing to me over here? I know, I did, I know. I, when I was a kid, I was totally that way. But I, yeah, you could mix everything together with me. And, and and when it comes to tacos and hot dogs together, I'd at least give it a shot. I mean, I, mean I would too. I'd have how to try would, it. I mean, how would we have ever known about a bacon cheeseburger or a chili dog unless someone went, you know what? Let's fucking let's put meat on top of meat. I once you know. uh, had a burger with donuts for buns. Oh. Sounded crazy. Oh, and bacon on it. See, I've we, heard of that. Though. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to go to sleep thinking. About <laughs> this, actually. I wasn't even hungry, but I just, I, I feel like, I feel like I, I might have to correct and say that I was wrong in thinking that this hot dog taco was a <laughs> bad a idea, second. because like, in remembering you know the what? the bacon, that was amazing. So, you know, I could be completely off. It's, I, I'm just. <laughs> We'll have, we'd have to see. We'd well, have to you see. Just have to try I still it. don't like the name, but I don't know but if the time. I don't know if you can try it though anymore. You know? No, I don't know. No, no. But the time it was beautiful though. He, of course, they posted a, an apology, but I thought it was clever. But I'm kind of a well, crass. See, they posted an apology to, to me. Whether I agree with uh, the the, the you know, hot dog right, taco right. thing or not, if you're gonna do it, do Go it for and it. don't yeah, apologize yeah. No for regret. it. Well, <laughs> just the weirdest do it. part to me <laughs> no, was it what the people were mad about wasn't the innuendo of. Uh, you know, what what a hot dog and a taco are. Not the innuendo. It was that it said 2.0 as though it was like yeah, yeah, he was yeah, upgrading yeah, yeah, he instead of being the yeah, same person yeah. and just yeah. really being okay. himself. But, but, but that's but, what they were the most mad at so that's was 2.0. the weirdest 0. thing to be mad about. Yeah, but but they, 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 yeah, they, they said it may have been the slightly crass hot dog and taco gen- genitalia references together. Yeah. But yeah. But they're not sure what what they were more. But it, it seems like they're leaning toward what you're talking about. Yeah, like, that it oh, was really that it was dude. like okay, yeah, you're gonna make that joke, but like he's not an upgrade. He's the same person. She's the same person. <laughs> oh so. yes, yeah, see already. And I'm and I'm a super uh, open minded guy. You I guys know, know, right? I, yeah, that I'm, absolutely. I'm, my 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 uh, my my thoughts in my head don't fit in in Texas a lot. So. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> The, to each his own. I, I, you know, I don't really care what Bruce Jenner does. It doesn't affect me. But you know, the, my my main beef with this story was that the the people apologized. Like I said, no, I get that. Yeah, yeah. And you know, if, if you're gonna do it, do it, and don't don't worry about it. They you should, know? Right. Don't worry they about it. Delivered one to him. <laughs> That's right, man. Yeah, yeah. Dude, dude, sure to appreciate it. You go through surgery. You want to have something to eat afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but dude, you. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. I was waiting. I was like, really? I was like, really? oh my god, really. <laughs> So I should uh, fall, fall on deaf ears. Yeah, yeah that's no, that's oh, called a sorry. Al yeah. like, Wait, what? Well, what is this? He just threw it out there. That's- <laughs> I don't know if I was what I was expecting anything less from you. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but I mean, if you're gonna party, fucking, you know, you might as well party with that fucking wing out there. <laughs> goddamn, just. As as prominent as ever. That's know? the thing, like with the special, with the Diane Sawyer special, like you know, it was, it was moving and it was uplifting for people in that situation and and everything. But it's like you can't have a special and then not show us, you know. Like I don't want to <laughs> see, I don't want to see what Bruce Jenner has, you know, down there. But I kind of do, you know. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, if somebody offered to show me, I'd if, it, a, if it's out guys... there, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you will. Damn, I mean, hell. Somebody's got to watch that shit, and I mean, hell, if you if you're gonna fucking do it and you want to be the one that's gonna do it, you gotta just own up and be the man. I'll do that. Put that in. shit out there. I want to see what's up with this. Are we yeah. going with the fucking in or out of here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. well, how's it groomed? You know, like you're what, a woman what happens? Now. You're yeah. a woman now. That thing's got to be fucking trimmed up nicely. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen that. I've seen the Kardashians <laughs> before, but, but but that's it. So. Bigfoot fucking trolling through a goddamn forest over there. I mean, like, is it the Wheaties box cover era of of what was popular, or is he modern yeah. now? You know, like that's that's way too many questions. <laughs> I, I don't, you know, it's a little deeper than. Oh, I love yeah. it, man. Oh. <laughs> It's a scary place. I know. It's right? going on up in this mind. I don't want to, you don't want to know. You it's know, time to time is, to start filtering that. Drew. Well, but you know, but I mean, the thing is, if he were a, if he were Canadian and his hockey team had have just won something, we'd probably know. I mean, there's a good chance we would know. I mean, I love Canadians. I think hell, my brother in law is Canadian. He's one of the he's one of the coolest dudes I know. And I, and and I met several Canadians back when I was in the Navy, and they were some of the coolest dudes I'd ever met. Man, they were so. Nice, wait, 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 wait. There's there's Canadians in our Navy? No, no. When I was <laughs> when I was in the Navy, we would go on uh on um NATO cruises. Okay. Uh, okay. North Atlantic. Yeah. And so we would um when we would port 
uh, we would go on other countries' Navy ships. Like we, okay, I'd yeah. been on a Danish ship, um, but I'd also been on a Canadian ship. Those dudes were so cool, man. They had so much beer on <laughs> on their ships. I'm like, hey. I love y'all, but uh, mm-hmm. all tell Labatt you, blue. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that's the first time I ever drank Labatt blue. Actually, Wait, while you're bullshitting, let's go back to the '90s things. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I have a confession to make. I don't think I know any Canadians. Oh man, <laughs> they're so awesome. And that's, and, like that's personally, why. like I don't think I personally know any Canadians. Well, you know, with with my brother-in-law, like I said, he, Tony is such a cool guy. But he's actually uh, he's he was born Irish and he he lived there for a while. And he lives in in Florida now with my sister Kelly, and and he is the most Republican anti-socialist person who grew up in a socialist society that you'll ever meet in your life. But but I'll tell you what, man, Tony knows how to party, and and there is evidence that he that 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 the the root is deep within the source when it comes to partying in Canada, man. The Flames they beat the Canucks. Last Saturday, and um, and so that earned them another spot in the in the round of the, the second round of the playoffs. So like ten to twelve thousand people got together in the middle of the city, and for the most part, you would think I expect any Canadian gathering to be cool. I'm gonna be honest with you, we but have very different. I mean, ideals it's, it's just like it's are. just like you know, it's just like they might burn something, okay, but if they they'll fucking they're the dudes that'll get the. They'll get the the fire extinguisher and put it out. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, no, we're sorry. Oh, well, <laughs> then just yeah, continually yeah. apologizing like, for what they yeah. just Sorry, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I know. Not, I mean, I just really wanted to burn this fucking car right now, but I promise you, I'll put the car out. I'm gonna clean it up. I have any problems with this. I, I'm not usually someone who, uh, you know. I'm usually open to other cultures, but uh, I have a very strong bias against Canadians and have oh, my no whole life. Oh no shit! Why? So, uh, you know, I think I think uh, it's probably just because it was cool. It's because of South Park when I was young. But I uh, well, to them and their flappy heads. Yeah, yeah, and they're uh, <laughs> they say a boot. It's it's sort of about just weird things, and uh, yeah, I've just never liked Canada. I don't know. It's like strong. Like I don't. I don't like drinking Crown Royal because the, I, oh. the only reason Crown is expensive is because it's imported from Canada. Yeah, I've been pretty indifferent about oh, Canada. I like them. They oh. seem like nice Americans. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? It's that's like, a good way man, to I put it. I can fucking hang out with you. Yeah. I, you know, I, I like Americans with all the, all the assholes. Yeah, with all the bullshit. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's have a beer. This is one of the worst <laughs> things I could ever say as a person, but it's like I've never met one that I didn't like, <laughs> but just as a whole... I don't like Canadians. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I guess I I think they stink. Did. <laughs> I don't know. I'm well, let's just, uh, let's fucking get into detail here. Man. All right. Yes. All right. Exactly. Why do you, but, <laughs> but you know, hey, you know, the thing is, they may, I don't think they stink, but <laughs> if they do. I don't, I don't really. If they do. I've never smelled a Canadian. We love them. I'm, I'm, yeah, they got to be awesome, oh, man. They, they smell like maple syrup. They got to be. But I mean, you think Like about I said, it. I don't know any personally. So. Here's the thing. 10, 12,000 Canadians got together. They celebrated a, a, a friggin' playoff win. And the six people were arrested. Two people. Uh, oh, for- wait. Ten to twelve thousand, and only six were six arrested. Were arrested? <laughs> are these, th- dude? I think like I think it's what hard. To, it's hard to chase down all those motherfuckers on a horse. At the average, <laughs> the average bar at Wichita Falls, I think, has six people arrested oh, on a weekend. Nightly, yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, like, like yeah. we said, that six people, two people for media harassment, of course, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 Toronto, huh? You like the maple leaves? <laughs> How the maple leaves do this year, huh? <laughs> you know? uh, I mean, those are fighting words right there. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> your beer sucks. There's, there's only two things that have came out of Canada that I like. I will defend, and that is um, Tom Green is from Canada. Oh, uh, like him? Uh, yeah, he's, yeah. I agree with you on that. One of my one of my heroes, and uh, Alan Thick. From growing oh, the, pains. Growing. <laughs> and it's not Robin because Thick. Yeah, that's really Robin random. Thick. Yeah. yeah, Robin Thick's his son. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, Alan Thick. And it's not because of what he did in growing pains, because like you know, I, yeah, that, but uh, everything since then, when well, he's been like, "How I met your mother and stuff," I'm like, "You're a Canadian gift to us." So. <laughs> I would say I Rush. About that, dude. Personally, I would say Rush and uh, Mike Myers. 
I forget yeah. Mike Myers. Mike Myers. But it's been a while since there's been a good Mike Myers movie. So. Yeah, but boy, he uh, did it all. But the ones that he done, he's World. done are fantastic. Oh, I, mean, I love Wayne's World. But the last good thing that Mike Myers did on screen was stand next to Kanye when he said <laughs> the, the, oh, is that hurricane benefit. Uh, I knew you were going to take it there. I wondered point. how long it'd be. Yeah, that was that took we a long 19, time for you to mention Kanye West. 40-something seconds. <laughs> That's longer than I suspect. That is well done, sir. But anyway, back to the Canadians. Yeah, Canadians, man. They know how to party, dude. I mean, you know, these people, they, they won the the round. They're going to the next round. And, and next thing you know, these six people are arrested. Two of them were for giving media people a hard time, which that's whatever. You know, we're used to that. And uh, one dude was walking down the street bearing everything <laughs> below his waist. Just, just let it all we don't know. We don't know anything about the situation here. I know, you know, I personally... When I heard the the old idiom party with your pants off, I just figured that was a reference to sex. But this uh, apparently in Canada, no, it's like it is. Hey, we're fucking. We made it through a round of the playoffs. Let's get fucking naked from the waist down. We're gonna this. drink Labatt Blue and probably smoke good bud. And um, and if we not get hurt now, 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 we get hurt, we'll just now I feel like hospital. I'm missing out because I don't know a Canadian person. <laughs> I need, no one is I need to know one. They know. They know what's fuck up. Yeah, they do, man, dude. And you know, and and the worst thing that happened though, man, was a dude uh, uh, set off fireworks over by a gas station there. And 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 the the great thing is though, dude, is is the police staff sergeant, the dude that put out the statement <clears throat> in response to this, because you know they had to remind people that well, there's another round coming up next, and and so you just need to know that people need to wear pants and not set off fireworks by the gas station. And I hear that, and I think it, and, and I don't, because you figure if a dude in, uh, I don't know, uh, Miami put out this same statement after a, a big win or whatever, you you wouldn't think anything of it. You would think it would have been black and white, but, be, but because Canadians are so matter of fact in the way that they speak, and you know, it's just it's just like there's no there's no there's you, no bullshit. There's no You can keep doing what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's okay. But we gotta do something. Yeah, a boot yeah, the yeah. A boot the pants. Uh, yeah, yeah. And about a boot the fireworks. <laughs> the fire has it. Yeah. We'd really rather you're not work walking around here blowing up shit. And with your dick hanging out. Yeah. Uh, other than that, you can do just, anything just you want to. Do what you gotta do. But yeah, we'll give you we get you got plenty of room. But just don't, if you don't mind, don't have your packer swinging while you're walking through town. And uh, if you don't mind, don't, don't set off your fireworks by the gas station. Don't you, you can, know? You can, yeah. <laughs> yeah, still set off the fireworks. Shit, you can blow shit up everywhere else, but just don't do it at the fire station. We are in the wrong fucking country, man. Seriously. Can you imagine? Canada though, like, is becoming a lot cooler. I know. <laughs> if you grew up there, though, you'd like maintain being one of, you know, that's why there were six people arrested. <laughs> If you if you just transplant like the kid who grew up in like redneck country, yeah, like yeah, the reason that I wear boxer briefs is because I took my pants off at parties too often, <laughs> and like you know tidy whities just didn't work for doing that. And, oh, but they're so sexy and blowing shit up. It's like the statute of limitation is probably passed by now. But it's like, hey, what can we do with it's gonna you know what, what can we attach with this? this dowel rod to this <laughs> other explosive thing. What's going to happen then field fire. Like this just sounds like, like <laughs> Canadians sound awesome. Yes. They do. They do, man. And I was really shocked to read that, um, uh, that just a little while back, this dude, uh, he was in his sixties, like 66 year old dude. I think he was. And he got, actually got pulled over up there. He was driving a van. It was a 2000 Dodge caravan. And this cop noticed that it had no sliding side doors. The rear windows were missing and several items were sticking out of the open doors. Now on top of the, that some bitch was a, a wooden a stool. And then he had on the back, one of those tractor, those triangular things that says slow moving like the vehicles. Little, the little warning sign. Right? Yeah. 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 So people that so made it all okay. Then he, he had the warning he was sign. Just like, I'm, I'm looking at, you know, everything's okay. Except for the fact that he had that, had that man you gotta have your tags i just bought mine but uh but i was so surprised at this how can how canadian is that i mean it's just like it's like you know you're not supposed to be driving that you know and he's just like oh my license has been suspended he actually told him that and then of course they they cited him and this and that and and the thing is he had just been stopped for driving the same vehicle on the same road in this town right next door two weeks earlier and and was just like and gave him the same deal, like, 
Oh, my, li- my license is suspended. You know, I can't. Uh, just, and what am I supposed to do? You know, he's he's <laughs> got to drive, you know. That, that's the part that makes you judge the story differently. Like, because if you just hear that, it's like, okay, I grew up in a really small town in like with farms around and stuff where it was like, we had a truck that was not tagged at all. We just used like to drive around on the farm. We had to drive it in to get gas, though. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. it's like. Okay, I see it. That happens. But then it's like, no, this has happened before, and he's gotten yep. pulled over for Multiple it. It's like, times. okay, no, this is just this guy just won't get a new car. He's just like, no, <laughs> yeah, fuck that. He, because he, he can't possibly get, do it. You know, I mean, he's he's at a point to where it's just like, no, I've, I've got, a, you know, look, I put the, that's my whole deal. He put the damn tractor thing on yeah. the back of it. I mean, that should have made it all legal. Right? Yeah, yeah, he's got yeah. the warning sign on there. I mean, I'm good to go. I'm it was by the warning sign or by the door, and now he is experiencing the wind. So yeah, he's the real the real hero here. He is. I agree. I'm 66, and I lived my whole life in Canada. And by <laughs> God, we can smoke weed legally here, and you can now in the United States. I get it, but he's like, I'm just driving slow. Just drive it slow. I have this is what I have to drive, and I need to drive no, no, somewhere. I, I can care. drive it. Yeah, I got to go to the next town. I'm not walking. <laughs> That's the problem. Are if you you're fucking gonna, walking? If you're gonna do that. You got to pull a George Jones, and you got to ride the lawnmower. Yeah. If you have a car, with the, the with car, the, the car has to be tagged. <laughs> like that's the problem. You yeah. know, make it not a car, yeah, then, you're <laughs> then you're fine. Then you're fucking. I dude, I'll tell you what. I'm good at loopholes, John. Man, let me tell you what. <laughs> My, I had an old buddy, man, Lightning, old Lightning. Old, he, he was uh, Larry Wakefield, man. God rest his soul. He was um, he um, Jordan's mom, and he were they were they were, you know soulmates, whatever for years and years. They were together for years and years. Never got married, and he's not Jordan's dad, but um, she was raised by her grandparents. And he, and I know I hate to, I don't want to get too, too personal, but, but, um, and he lived with her mom, you know, growing up and, 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 and she knew him not as her dad, never, ever, but, but it, it, he was just, he was just, he's always around. And you know, I started seeing her back uh, in the early two thousands and he was, he was this dude that, um, you know, at that point he was like 42 years old and he had already got to the point where he was like you know what he had worked construction for years and years and years and yeah you know, that's a party lifestyle you know we you know we work in radio we like to party you yeah. know but these are dudes that wake up they're rolling jays and it's not to say that's not happening in radio but you know on the way in that the, the party's already started yeah and well you you work hard too <laughs> yeah yeah they do they do they do they yeah. do it's a liquid lunch and it's a little something yeah. on your belly before you go back and this and that. And it's a lifestyle. And yeah. he, he, he had already got to the point where he couldn't pass physicals. And, oh, yeah. and so he did a little bit of work at the, at the, at the, um, at, uh, one of the golf courses here in town. But for the most part, he, he, he just, he couldn't do a whole lot. And he finally ended up getting on, on Medicare cause he couldn't pass a physical, but it was so awesome because he was one of those dudes because it's like if you had nothing to do, you know, give him a call. I'm gonna go over and party with Larry, and and, and he had <laughs> oh. so many different names. He was Lightning. His his initials. You know, you have partied beyond every motherfucker on this planet when your initials are LDW, and everyone calls you LDWI. <laughs> you know that's, that's LDW yeah, yeah. That's, that's LDWI right there huh. lightning crazy legs Wakefield was another one and, and, but that was the, he was at that point where he would come we lived in Iowa Park a little town we're here in, in Wichita Falls Texas for anyone listening outside of the area uh, Iowa Park is a little town outside of this little town and uh, we lived over there and he was right around he lived a, a few blocks down and he would ride that fucking lawn because he had no <laughs> the license was gone many yeah. years for that if that boy drove up he drove up and it was you know that, head on a swivel that was his know? vehicle <laughs> yeah what the who's watching me but yeah i always think to that to that it's one of those small town things man we, oh, had, a guy, dude. we had a guy in my hometown who had a golf cart <laughs> yep and what are you gonna do what are you going to do, man? Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, dude. 
Oh, you know, and and, and, and speaking of what are you going to do, you got to have someone. I think within the school system that gets it on from the outer perspective, the perspective of the person that really doesn't give a fuck, that doesn't have to be the uppity. I got to, you know, I got to uh, stick up my ass perspective. And a guy that says, you know what? I'm going to get these kids ready for the real world. Like the thing that you see movies about. Oh, dude. Yeah, I was, was yeah. going to say, the, yeah. the, this story that oh, it sounds, it sounds sort of quite stuff. like a, a, a movie plot. <laughs> it does, it does. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, the, this, I'll tell you, if there were a Thrash Man Chronicles Gold Star Award, it would go, and, it, and maybe there needs to be one. Maybe at some point it needs to be established. Okay, you know what? I'm fucking going for it. Uh, dudes that are so badass and so beyond reproach get this fucking gold star. But this teacher, this dude, George Steele. Let's see, where was he at? Where was he out of at the time? I'm looking at the at the at the. Uh, he was a, a Vic, the Victorian Institute of Teaching. Let's see. Okay, he um he's been now he's been cut out of some shit. <laughs> at this point, dude, I love the, I love the story. Uh, he has forty nine formal complaints, and I and I and in looking at it, I, I want to say this is this is British. It's it's somewhere in the UK. Seems, seems right because he had worked at the Mill Park Secondary College. It might be College. Australia. Is it Australia? It could be. Very That's well. just okay. British, but criminals. What? The, oh. <laughs> like we are <laughs> basically, <laughs> yeah. just thing. like us. Basically, uh, I love them. Yeah, this same is thing. Just the British oh, come on, mate. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, instead of drinking bottling, yeah. like well, I just said that because thing, the, the web the website's dot au. So I, I it has know. to oh, be the web guy. Yeah. <laughs> I know, dude. It's, we have to have you. In house, dude. This is it would be so fucking weird. Now, okay, we got to reserve a spot for you at this point because we would be lost. Without someone who had some common knowledge of the fucking internet. Well, I, just, I was just reading the, on my the, phone. For the, for but that's the, the beauty of it. For the Tom Green fans besides myself, the Phil Giroux of the group. The Phil Giroux. <laughs> yeah, that's, someone's going to hear that reference and get and it. They're yes. gonna know, I and they're going to know. And they're going to comment on the podcast and say, well, heck yeah, Phil Giroux. And I'll be that like, guy on. you got Well, I'll tell you what, while, while you're on YouTube listening to this, go ahead and uh, search, Daddy, would you like some sausage, Aaron Galloway? And you'll find one of the greatest videos of all time i'm not gonna lie it's the only thing that's ever made me want to have children <laughs> is a video of his daughter yeah, who is creating the scene for freddie got figured offered me some sausage yeah yeah <laughs> it's like wait i can have children and i can like exploit them for humorous yeah. youtube videos okay i might be down for this okay. but anyway yeah. we digress <laughs> well Teacher. you know if you're gonna have kids that's a that's a good reason and eventually they'll grow up and go to school and like, where oh. see that yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. That was, nice. that was a pro transition right there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, All okay. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were talking about a, a fucked up person. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. But I love it. This dude, George Steele. George the Animal Steele. It's a great name. Um, yeah. It was a, that's a, that's a radio name that's right a, there. That's a professional wrestler. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the eighties. George the Animal Steele. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude had a hairy back. That's why, <laughs> that's why he was an animal. The animal. Oh, it was, that makes sense. And it was just like, this dude was so fucking the opposite of anyone who's ever Maybe exercised. it's him. We don't know, he's not wrestling now. I think he might be dead. I ain't. Well. I'm saying that. I'm saying that in whisper voice because I ain't sure. That means it's that like, that oh, means it's fuck. not a fact, whatever you say. I don't know. I'm not sure, but I think he may, I think he may have went down a while back. Uh, but uh, this dude here, I'll tell you what, he'd make him proud. He would make me proud if I was that dude, even though that dude acted like he had zero sense, you know, it was just total caveman logic or whatever, because this dude right here, he told a female student that girls need to clean up after the boys. <laughs> Fuck. That doesn't sound that far off. You had to tell them you that. Could, you could hear this. You could hear that in just about any school. You know? <laughs> That's not that bad. You know, like... If he just said that, we wouldn't be reading an article about him. We'd, oh, no, yeah. there's still 48. Yeah, there's <laughs> fucking <don't> know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't think we have enough time. <laughs> well, we can, we'll make time, man. He was he only said, there like six months, and he had enough time, Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> if he can make time, we can, damn it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. We've got another 30 minutes or so. We can talk about this asshole at least that long. 
<laughs> cocksucker, but hell, I kind of wish I was him when it comes down to it. He had to have been a Canadian at some point. <laughs> uh, but he, he says that uh, he actually told this one student to drink a cup of concrete and harden up when she asked for help on a recipe. Um, another student, or a group of students, I should say, had also complained that uh, he had ate all the food that they made in the cooking class. <laughs> Selfish, some bitch. <laughs> I mean, is this dude not sounding better? I, I gotta tell you, I'm going. I'm already. You, dude. I'm already picturing bus driver Chris Farley from Billy Madison. Like, that's <laughs> eating the kids' lunches. Like, that's what I'm envisioning. Yeah. Oh, and just fucking staring at the hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 what I'm seeing when I see this story. The dude that throws the banana yeah. peel out. Yeah. Oh no, your rules! Oh, no. I am a, I am simultaneously an asshole and the dude that will kill evil at the same fucking time. <laughs> oh, that's such a this dude is so good. Picture, this, uh, picture in that character makes the story even better. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's theater of the mind. It is. I love it. I know. It's what we do, right? <laughs> We're good at it, y'all. Yeah. So, so what other crazy things did this Chris Farley character do? Let's see. He is. Now it's all of a fucking scene. It makes it is better. It makes it better. With the, with the deep jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, the comb over. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, he was supposed to supervise them when they went out somewhere, and he just uh, pulled his hat over his head, nodded off on the train. Um, oh, this is. I would have done this probably. I don't know. Uh, he stored beer in the fridge in, in the classroom, and. Uh, this well, I mean, he's just storing beer. I mean, he's he just storing it. it was just, it's it's, it it's got to be cold. For the you got to keep that shit yeah. cold. <laughs> you don't want to keep it in your trunk. You pick I'll some up at lunch or take home Mad later. Men. You know, I'll watch a lot of Mad Men. It's one of my favorite shows. Dude, George, they're, take, they're drinking scotch, you know, at every business meeting that oh, they have. Lunch. So it's like maybe he's just used to that life, and now he's teaching. You know, like it, I know, it, dude. It, I'm it telling you, this is a good guy. He's a good guy. So far. I haven't read anything fucked up that he's done yet. Yeah, I don't mean I don't know how his teaching is, but uh, but just as far as moral moral upstanding character, he's yeah. got my vote. He's, he's good to go so far. Yeah, I mean, Ooh, I mean, yeah. he's just he's actually he's actually uh, attained a status of badass that only a few of us could ever fucking hope to. Yeah. But, uh, let's see. Let's see. He let um, he let uh, twelve of his his food technology students watch a border security. I don't know. So they, just, they just got to watch TV. Like, was it NC seventeen? Huh. Yeah, I've had, I don't know. The, the, I have, the I have plenty movie. of teachers when I was in high school who would be like, <laughs> "I don't." We're I, watching a movie today. Yeah, that's nothing new. I mean, yeah. there's movie day yeah. happening yeah, everywhere teacher, across the teacher, world right teacher's now. Teachers hungover day. <laughs> this is a good one though. I mean, yeah, a couple of kids got into it in his class, and one of the one of the one of the kids playfully threatened another one with a knife. How do you play so he threatened so with the knife. I'll show you if you don't know. <laughs> so he took a pic of it and posted it in the fucking school's portal. I'm looking at this going, this is a parody site, right? I mean, this really didn't happen. He's just, he just trying to raise his clout score, man. <laughs> like, I don't know if you're signed up for clout. Yeah. At the Drew Bartlett on Twitter, by the way. Uh, at oh, the Drew Bartlett. There's a plug. Dude, they send me like gift cards. They send me pet food. <laughs> like I get gift cards to McDonald's and dog treats because they're like, your cloud score is good. You'll tell people about McDonald's new Arch Deluxe. You know? <laughs> Whoa, like, wait a sec. I don't do any of it. I just get these things, though. Educate the old man here. Now, yeah. what's this cloud and free shit in Twitter? Because I'm oh, yes. on the Twitter thing, and, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I love so, free shit. So am I, at the Drew Bartlett. That's it. Two T's at the end. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but anyway, like, okay, so it, it, it monitors what your clout is in social media, what your, how uh, persuasive you are, how many people are influenced by you. And then they uh, does it use Twitter, Facebook, all of it together? It, it'll or link just even Twitter? more than that. I only have Facebook and Twitter on mine because right. I don't understand Instagram. <laughs> really? Um, I don't get it, dude. Of what? Pictures? What don't you understand the, about what? pictures? <laughs> Let's finish clout, and then I'll get to Instagram. Uh, right, right. Okay, okay. Um, we have a ways to go yet. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. But okay, so so they they gauged how um, how many people are influenced by you, and then they'll like send you things because you'll you'll mention them on Twitter, but you don't have to. And it's I just, just like it because I'm narcissistic, and I just like to know that when I say something into the internet, people are like seeing it. 
So I'm like, Ooh, I have a 67. <laughs> I didn't know about this clout. I need to look at No, that. I know nothing of it. I'm yeah, shocked well, I didn't know about it either. Well, if you, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I find myself posting. This is so sad. I'll post things because I'm like, which way is going to get me the most likes? <laughs> so oh, the you, score you're goes, normal. Uh, dude, it's bad. Yeah. It's bad. I mean, every, every, everybody's on social media for Yeah, but I'm really the, good at it, Aaron. <laughs> gratification. The, you know, the, it is a fucking art form, yeah. man. But anyway, that's what clout is. Right, and really. so, like, if I was in a class and a kid pulled a knife on another kid, you know, we work in the media. We know how stories go viral. There's, yeah. a, there's an ad on, some, or a, you know, handwritten note that's left on somebody's car. You take a picture of it, it's going to go viral. If he just said kids got in a knife fight, oh yeah, he's yeah. not going to get near as many likes and near as many clout gift cards from McDonald's <laughs> without the picture. He's doing it right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like now we took Chris Farley and put glasses on him so he looks smart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the world feels it, man. It fucking, if it makes its way around, dude, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So you might as well get dog treats and free Hulu shows. Yeah, that's, yeah, that that's, sounds like a good deal. I that's can... my clout. Hey, <laughs> so what? Well, then, 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 let's wait. Let's go back. No oh, Instagram. Instagram. You didn't figure the Instagram. Thing I don't get out. it. What's up? It's man? it's one of the only social medias I've never done. That and Pinterest. And I'm a dude, so Pinterest is uh, fun. Yeah, well, I wouldn't and, think. Yeah, yeah. And, and unless you're it. a professional wrestler, you wouldn't want to be on Pinterest. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I it, thought uh, <laughs> Instagram. I get it now. <laughs> that took me a second. Took me a second. Fuck um, it, man. I'm going. Well, it was your second wrestling <laughs> reference. We were talking about old George Steele here, so I thought it. I, I was like, what? A, I, I haven't watched wrestling since 1999, man. I don't know. So I just, that's the first thing I thought. I heard pin, Pinterest. I get it. I get it. I like it. That's way. It's, it's a way better title. Anyway, joke, Instagram. Johnny. I just don't understand. I don't. I don't get like. I see everyone's Instagram photos because you post them on Facebook. Oh and yeah, Twitter. yeah, automatically. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, why yeah, do I? Yeah, have to, why do yeah. I have to go to another step before oh, I do dude, this? Oh, dude, there is a fucking sect. So of that's hipsters. what you mean by you don't get it. I, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, agree yeah. with you on that's that. That's why I don't have yeah, one. Yeah, there's a, there's a sect one. of fucking hipsters that don't do no, 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 you don't. Facebook. Yeah. There's too much drama on Facebook, <laughs> there, there and I don't one. understand yeah. Twitter. <laughs> it's all celebrities and stuff. I'm on Instagram. Yeah, it, it is a pretty hipster hipster uh, app, oh, uh, douche social man. network, but uh, <laughs> I, I only use it to post pictures of my dogs. <laughs> that's I, all I, I use. That's, that's, all thing, that's what I, I do on I, Instagram. I honestly. post pictures <laughs> to it so that I'm on Instagram too, and I mean nothing against anyone that's mm. only on Instagram. That's it's just the, like I don't know why you would just be on Instagram. The one I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't use Instagram that much, so then I feel justified in being annoying it's, with all yeah. the hashtags. Because yeah, I can be annoying. Only. A hashtag a picture yeah. the hell out of a picture. That's the dude. only one I don't do, man. Yeah. I'm on all the others. Like, Well, not all the others, that but like works. all the you know, Snapchat and and uh, you know Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, I've never Snapchatted. I've never got into that. You're my friend Me. on it. Oh, no, no, I, I, I have it, but I don't use it. Yeah, I know, you're regularly. terrible at it. I don't, because I don't use it. <laughs> yeah. Every day I'm like, give me an insight into six seconds. Well, you're of behind Aaron's here. Life. You're our digital nope. guy. We're looking for you for guidance. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need you to show us you're, the way, sir. It's an. I got nothing on that one. I got nothing. Well, fucking, I'm glad you're earning your money. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that's why I don't do Instagram because I just don't like. I, I'm not gonna take another step. You know, it's just not not there for me. So ah, fuck it, man. Just sell out. Go all in, man. <laughs> Go it. all in. Do it all. You've jo- already, you're Johnny, already if I add another, if I add another social media, I'm going to be adding like an extra two hours where I don't get to sleep at night. Oh well, fuck the world, right? <laughs> Got to put this all in, all in, all day. You know what though? You're a social media dude, and and you get like being social too. I, I think that that there's um, there's a contingent of older people that think that. Anyone, uh, you know, uh, under 35 or whatever doesn't understand being social, but it's like, it's so cool to me going out in this day and age because you see people, you kind of want to go put your fucking phone down. Yeah. This is as social as it gets, but everyone at the bar has their phone out there <laughs> and they're, they're, they're being social and they're in it's social media yeah. at the same time. It's a crazy environment. It's, it's. I don't. Well, you know, people are evolving s- to be able to do both at the same time. Yeah, well, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, I, I it's, have, it's part of it. Yeah, like yeah. I have a like you know I was saying earlier like Google Hangouts with some with my like my best friends who I went to college with who live all over the country where like we there's a group of like twenty and we talk every single day, which like you know a generation ago 
your buddy moved to San Francisco and you moved to New York. You, you guys, write him a yeah, letter. Yeah, you guys might talk every, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. like dude, once dude. a year, once a year to make sure you can stay friends. Like that's how me and all my Navy buddies from the nineties are. And it's just like there's, yeah, no contact it's, because we can't write. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we all have Facebook pages. I don't know his name. No, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Whereas, like you know, I I have it's it's but it's different because it's not like you know go out to the bar with those people you know you're just no, talking yeah, to yeah, them yeah, online yeah, 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 yeah. but it's uh you know it's 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 a weird world it is it's changed a lot man yeah it has changed so much but you know and i think about it though it's so much of it is so cool what we're doing now to me is the epitome of 2015 podcasting and streaming services yeah. whether it's it's listening or watching movies and and maybe I'm um yeah, hell I'm 42 now maybe I'm going through a bit of a midlife crisis where I'm really embracing these young things but I also find myself But there's going, no reason you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I know. And, and and I and I find myself going back to and having a bit of that rebellious spirit of you know man I really just want to hear a cool new rip and metal album. I want to read a cool comic whether it's a Walking Dead or now Star Wars is back on Marvel. And, um, but I, I also find myself embracing the new things that kids won't understand. Weren't there. Yeah. Wasn't always there. It's a good time to be alive. I really think it is. I get something on this is that like, for instance, I was one of the very last holdouts in doing digital music. Uh huh. Like me too. Um, you know, like, like in, in the, when I'm listening to something by choice, you know, not like, I want to hear this album that I'm going to listen to it digitally but because of that it made me get into vinyl which is like going back an extra generation though right because i was like i was like if i'm gonna have this if because i still want to physically buy something so i'm like if i'm gonna buy something i buy that i still get the digital copy for free with a new album and so now i have the the best of both worlds but like cds are now completely obsolete to me oh not not to me though i'm eating them up like fucking candy dude yeah yeah. i'll go to i'll go to uh to Hastings and and buy six seven CDs at three. That, bucks that was me two years ago. Two back, years back ago, I was the exact been same it the way. Whole time. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I mean, <laughs> Look I have at two, all that vinyl there, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, but I'm, I'm I can't, I can't same stop. way. Like, like I mean, you have uh, two big bookshelves full of CDs here. I have in my house right now about about a third of that, but it's because I have the rest of it in storage because I didn't move it to Texas with me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But right. Uh, but yeah, it's just like I don't know. When I moved to digital, I stopped doing CD, and it was all like I'm buying vinyl. Back in the early because two. I had to I, I had to give up one to embrace another I guess no no yeah yeah, yeah no and and I I I totally I I see where you're coming from there I um I think I'm such an audiophile that that I um yeah. embrace every single aspect I'm a streamer I I you look at the stacks of of cassettes over there CDs vinyl and then just I have digital stuff over here too yeah in any form I can possibly get it. I love to be entertained and I love music so much. Oh yeah. That I would never restrict myself to going, Oh, this is the only way this. No, no, exactly. Is. Exactly. And, yeah. And I get you. Every single aspect of it. I love man. I, 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 and I just think it's a great time to be alive for that sort of thing. Oh I, yeah. Oh yeah. Whatever, whatever you want, you can it's add. at your fingertips. Well, add to it that, is. add to that. Yeah. The fact of just knowledge that's right. You know, dude, anything that I could ever need to know is carried inside of my pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's incredible. That's <laughs> dude, we, 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 and we I remember and I remember having the one computer with the CDs of the encyclopedia that the whole house oh, had. Dude, yeah. You know, with a dial up internet connection and now it's in my pocket it's, at all times. If I have to go to two G, I'm like this is taking too yeah. long. I need oh, to know. No. I need yeah. to know who won that game in 1967. <laughs> what the fuck is 2G doing on anybody's yes. phone? At how were yes. any arguments? Why settled? is there not Wi-Fi? Here? I don't know yeah. how any arguments yeah. were settled ever before Google in your pocket. Dude. Punching, punching, punching people punching. in the face. There were a lot more yes. fights back in the right? day. Yes, a lot of facts <laughs> right. got distorted. Yeah. You know, by someone like, being a better puncher. Six <laughs> months later, going, I told you, motherfucker. Look here, I got this goddamn encyclopedia, yeah. I and I this, told you. I looked. And you know what happened then? More punching. Yeah, and it's like, well, you think you're smart, don't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. I'll whoop your ass. I'll whoop your ass. Sounds like a brutal time. That's a fucking Texas time. Back that's, when, that's, when, that's when men were it's men. The Wild it's fucking West. Lone Star State. Men were men, and beer was cold. That's that's it. 
America. Well, you know, and, uh, <laughs> like America. America, like a motherfucker. Yeah. I love it. Beer and whiskey. You know, I, that to me, it's like <laughs> you go to a bar now and I have some buddies and uh, I don't want to. I like craft beer. I don't have a dude. I, I, I'm, I'm not a hater. I just think it's funny how some people treat that. It's a scene. Oh, yeah, totally. It's a scene. And it's like, mm. I don't. I don't know. Dudes just hung out and drunk beer together. Yeah, it's I just, beer. It's, I just, I just, <laughs> just don't. It tastes good. You everybody's know? looking at you going, well, what are you drinking? Yeah. Well, hey, why do you care? Let's have some fun. A there's cold a, beer. There's anyway. a ball game on. Let's watch this ball <laughs> game together. You know, I, 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 I'm so I, the I, middle of that spectrum because, like, I I love I love different craft beers and like because yeah, they're good. But it's beer, because man. I'm in yeah. I'm into how beers made and like I've toured a lot of breweries. Like uh-huh. it's yeah, yeah, and so it's. But it's one of those things like 99% of the time I'm drinking Bud Light. Yeah, yeah. Because you know? I mean, I'm not, you know, it's, it's not one with a meal. I'm going to have a few beers. Well, yeah, I mean, it's cool to know all the doing. different kinds of beers out there. And yeah. You talk yeah. about it sometimes. But if you're just hanging out at a party, just drink the beer. Yeah, you know? drink some beer. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it, but it, you know, like I said, like I see, I see both sides of it. But I just don't think you should be extreme of either way, you know. Like, oh, dude, you're if you're so, like, yeah, yeah, I get yeah, you. if you're like, I'll oh, only, I'll only drink these craft beers. It's right. like, well, then you're missing out on, you know, we're you're going on a stupid dumb. camping trip and we're going to drink well, fifty of these things. Yeah, yeah we're going to drink. Yeah, we're going to drink nothing but thir- oh, Keystone Light thirty pack. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> we're getting hydrated, you know. Like, and, and it's just yeah, and I yeah. mean, but if you're a- on the complete other end of it, it's like you know. um, you know, it's it's nice to sometimes be like, ooh, this one tastes. You know, this one's absolutely. good with a meal, like like a wine is. Absolutely, you know, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you see that? You know, and I I just think that I just think that there's a certain pretentiousness that people kind of they they get kind of in their own ass, they get in their own self, and they're just like, yeah, you know, oh, I'm 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 all about this, but you can do that with anything that involves taste, whether it's media or food or drink or whatever. It's so easy. To kind of get it, you know, because I tell you what, what I like is the best shit on the world. Uh, uh, yeah, it's the best I, shit. I agree. You know, it's what, the best shit in the, on the I, planet. What I yeah, like, because you mean, lie it to yeah, you. It's, it is it's just like, it, well, what do you? What's that's wrong all that with matters, you? though. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you? So yeah. why don't but, they so, all think this? Way? But they just, but they just don't. And I, and I think that's that's kind of that's the problem with it all, man. It's just like you can't realize. Wait a second. I assume they're just being assholes. That's you know. They are. They know I'm right. But, well, fuck yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, they know. They know. Yeah, they gotta assholes. know, man. Oh God, yeah. But <laughs> you know, when it, when it comes to when it comes to beer drinking and stuff like that, to me, it's just like you know, I don't. I never saw it as a, as a status thing. I saw it as just it's something that people did. We hung out together. We shared. If if someone came along with a good like. Think it back to the mid '90s, when the craft beer revolution here in the U.S. was kind of a new thing. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, you it, were starting it, to get the like brew pubs popping yeah. up and that sort of thing. Yeah, uh, we would come home. Boulevard in Kansas City started in '89. There you go, and was distributed outside of Kansas City in that that time. That's period. a perfect. Yeah. yeah, that that was when the explosion became, uh, came along, and we would come home being in the Navy. Uh, we would go to Europe and we'd come home and, and in the liquor stores, the spirit shops, I, f- I forget exactly what they called them, but those spirit shops they would have there on the base, they were, they were having those kind of beers and we would, I, I grew up in North Texas. So there was Budweiser, there was Bush, <laughs> there was Coors Light, Coors Original, you know, you drank Light. whatever was cold. Yeah, 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 <laughs> totally. Totally. Bud Light and Budweiser, you know, a lot of Budweiser. Um, uh, and, I, I just I just remember going wow, people here in the U S are embracing what Europe had yeah yeah, yeah that's what we always thought because we would always laugh we would come home from being over there for six months and it's like a Budweiser didn't pack the punch that it used to pack and and you know and the Bud yeah. was always it's a stout beer you know it's Bud I love Bud I I, I I'll drink the shit out of it yep. to me I guess it's it's kind of like two separate things though it's kind of like you know like there's whiskey and beer. Mm-hmm. There's, I'm drinking craft beer or I'm drinking domestic beer. Yeah, like, you know, it's, usually yeah, 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 right yeah. Here, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, if I'm, if I'm like, Hey, I'm making a nice meal and I'm going to have a beer with it. I'm going to have, I'm thinking craft beer when I say that, you know, like I'm going to get something that like the way you think of a wine. Right. Right. If I'm going out to watch a game, 
I'm drinking just domestic beers. I'm not thinking of it. You know, it's it's kind of two different things. Yeah. But yeah. But they're united because they're <laughs> the same. When you when you go shopping for beer, do you typically just look for Bud Light? You know, or is it in, unless you're like on on a night was like, you know what, I want to I want to do something I hadn't had. Like, like here's the prime example: if I'm drinking with people, uh huh, I'm probably grabbing Bud Light. Right, right. If yeah, I'm going yeah, to yeah. Uh, like if going to a dinner or I'm getting something to have a couple of at home at night, I'm going to get something, some craft beer. Yeah, that makes sense. It just depends on the situation. Good yeah. taste and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's if I'm going for the flavor and savoring it or am I drinking some beers, you know? Yeah. That's, that's the difference. I think, I think I like whiskey more um, when it comes to the, to the more, uh, I, I don't know, trying Trying different things, or but you could even get the same snobbishness on that. I mean, like, yeah, you can't. Oh, you absolutely you know, like we, we can. Talk, how how Dude, long did we talk about this uh, this bottle in front of us? Buff, with, Buffalo earlier. Trace, yeah. No, 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 I agree. I agree. You can totally, yeah. you can totally get that way. No, but I, I tend to be it. But shit, because like I, I love Jack Daniels. My hundred percent number I one. It. I love it. Number one favorite. Like, you could give me something way better, but more expensive. Jack Daniels is my number one. Of all liquors, everyone has an opinion on that, and it's either they love it or hate it, and they're gonna, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, I hate it, but it's like it. really, it's like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. But it's like if I show up, if I showed up somewhere with a bottle of Jack Daniels, you wouldn't be like, Ew, Jack Daniels. You'd be like, oh, I don't like that, you know. But it would be different than if I showed up with a bottle of KD. You know, like it'd be I like this, it'd be like this cheap bastard, you know, Ooh, yeah, I've yeah. drank way more, I've, I've drank way more JD or uh, not JD, excuse me, KD yeah, no, and right. you know, ancient age and, you know, just terrible oh, stuff than anything that. else, you know, yeah, right. You're yeah. accustomed to I'm, it. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm 30. I didn't have a full-time job until like six years ago, you know, it's like, yeah. yeah well, I, I just, old man drink. Yeah. I just yeah. started drinking this, this TX whiskey out of Fort yeah. Worth, this blended whiskey that they, they do down there. And it's that's really, delicious. it's really good. You've had it, Drew. Yeah. yeah. That's when, and it's the same example of the craft beer, domestic beer thing that like, if I'm drinking at home, I don't, I don't have a bottle of Katie in my house. I only have like decent liquors. I don't drink at home that often either. Yeah. And so it's like, if I am, I'm having something that's worth, worth the cost. Absolutely. You know? you but when I'm at a bar, it's like, it's bar. like, give me the yeah. well drink, you know, like whatever, give me that. But yeah. Yet again, all depends. And so, yeah, right. No, dude, I love that. I mean, um, I just find myself when it comes to laying a little bit more money into something, I would rather spend a little bit more money on the beer so I can, or on, on the liquor, excuse me. Cause I'm the same way. Then, then, then yeah, then, then the beer, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I agree. It's, I, easy, I, it's easy to get snobby like that. I yeah. also, and I'm getting way a little bit off topic, but, um, up in, up in Kansas, you know, I mm-hmm. moved here two years ago from Kansas, right, Kansas boy here. Well, up in Aggieville in Manhattan, beer was never what was on sale. It's always, it was always liquor drinks and shots that were on mm-hmm. sale. Mm-hmm. And so like most of my professional drinking time in life was, <laughs> yeah. was after 20, yeah, 21. You, uh, yeah. You go to a bar <laughs> and it's, you can spend three twenty five and get a well or three twenty five and get a beer. I'm going to get a well drink, you know, you're, you're going to get and, more pa- and so yeah, like, punch like, for your buck. Yeah. I never drank beer unless I was at a football game or camping or something like that. It was never something I drank at the bar. I always drank liquor. And uh, being down here, it's like, oh, we're beer be- drinkers. Yeah, it's we are. Yeah, beer yeah. The, only, the only way beer was cheap was on on draft, and they'd have pitcher specials sometimes, but never like a bottle of beer it was never on special up in up in Manhattan. My Maine. drinking day started when I lived in Germany, so we just drank beer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what you drink in your Te- Germany. Texas beer yeah. drinking country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we love we love whiskey and liquor too. But yeah, this you've seen it. You've yeah. grown to this beer drinker country. Oh sure. yeah, I had to like relearn like how to drink beer socially. Because yeah. I hadn't done it since keg parties, you yeah. know, like yeah. when you just yeah. drink it like a jackass. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Dude, exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's yeah. fucking. Uh, how many can we down right now together? Let's yeah. go. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, it's like, are we are we getting a funnel for this? You know, like no, it's, like no. Yeah. Dude, how, what's just... the most obnoxious way we can drink this beer? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys are That's just, how you're supposed to. Do oh, it. you guys were gonna you guys were gonna eat your steaks with your knife and your fork because I was gonna take this outside. I got a three story funnel set up. <laughs> going down about six yeah, of these right. at once, and then I'm gonna go down to the first floor. And he's gonna go up to the third floor, and he's just gonna dump some bottles down, yeah, and I'll yeah. try to catch it in my yeah. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I, seriously, like, I think the first year I was here, it was like relearning because it was like I can either do what I did up there and spend three times as much, or 
I can learn to drink beer again. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. But you can drink beer all night long, man. Oh, yeah. Well, I could drink whiskey all night long, too. But I don't know. It's, but it's, I guess it's, it's a, a superpower. All night, all night long bit. lasts a little bit longer when you're drinking just beer. <laughs> it's, it's not a hobby, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lifestyle. Yeah. We're yeah. professional here. Thank That's you. right. We are professionals. Yeah. And that right there, that wraps up another episode, another chapter. Of the Thrashman Chronicles, Volume One, Chapter Six, and man, dude, I'll tell y'all what, it's it's been a lot of fun having y'all. Hell yeah, Aaron Galloway, yes, awesome. Drew Barlett, woo, y'all kicked ass tonight, man. Thanks for coming on it and fucking hanging with me, dude. This is a lot of fun. Anytime, we loved it. Yeah. Later, y'all. <laughs>